G'day guys, how's it going? Um, recently, I've um, started making a few uh, motorcycle vlogging um, videos and a couple of cooking videos. I've really been enjoying it. It's been awesome. And I'm going to keep doing it. I love it. It's great. But um, I've, I've been thinking I wouldn't mind trying something different make to create some sort of different video. Anyway, long story short, I'm walking through the house the other day and um, Elise was watching a show called Arrow and the villain in the show made reference to a painter called Jackson Pollock. So anyway, I um, just for a bit of fun, I looked up some of his paintings and I thought, they're pretty cool, I wouldn't mind getting one of those. So anyway, I did a bit of research, what's it cost to buy a Jackson Pollock? And uh, anyway, um, most recent one that sold was in 2006 and it sold for 140 million American bucks. And um, um, about, that's um, in today's money, that's 166 million. Or in today's money in Australian dollars, that's 220 million bucks. Anyway, long story short, I could probably pick up a few extra shifts maybe do a few mowing jobs, but I'm never going to be able to afford one. So, anyway, I thought, what if I buy a print and get it get it framed up, put it up in the room, here in the editing room. And then I thought about it, I thought, nah, a print, that's a one-dimensional glossy photocopy of a painting. And pff, that's not good, I don't want to look at that. So then I thought, what's my, what's my next? option and then I thought what about if I paint a tribute painting to Jackson Pollock in his style and the, the whole dripping style and um, make a nice frame for it and hang it up in here that way it'll be a nice you can look into it like 3d sort of thing and um, yeah so that's my plan anyway so here's a couple of Jackson Pollock paintings um, just to give you guys an idea of um, what the style is. So, as far as I can see, I reckon I could splash a bit of paint around. And yeah, anyway, the story is this guy Jackson Pollock. He's he's um he's sitting there painting one day, and he's having trouble finishing the painting. So he puts the canvas on the ground and starts splashing paint on it. And that became his style. So, anyway, long story short, I'm going to have a go at making a Jackson Pollock. Right up. Right up, guys. First step is to make the frame. So what I've got is a piece of premium pine. And that one little piece of pine is going to be the whole frame for the painting. So first I've got to do is rip it. And then we'll cut the 45s and we'll get this frame put together and glued up. Alright, here we go. Right, now we've got our two boards that we can start cutting the 45s on. Okay, let's do this. Okay guys, I've now marked the 45s, I've marked the 45s and um, cut them with the saw. fits. This frame is 60mm by 50mm. And what mil, I mean centimetres. 
60 centimeters by 50 centimeters. Would you look at that, eh? That's going to be perfect. Rightio, they're all sanded up, and now we can glue them up. Okay guys, now what I've done, I've cut the pieces out, I've put them around the frame, because the frame's going to go around the photo, uh, or the, the painting, and um, I've laid it out, and it all fits, looks good. So let's do some gluing. Okay, let's do some gluing. Beauty. Okay guys, now it's time for the super exciting part. I've got my Jackson Pollock paintings here for a little bit of a reference and I'm going to start painting. Start, so I'm just going to start. Apparently, Jackson used to walk around, like he used to have his canvas on the floor, but he had really huge canvases. I've got a small one, so I'm just going to work on the table and sort of work around. Do my thing. Woohoo! And just quickly, if you look at my work table, it looks like a Jackson Pollock painting itself. <laughs> What about a bit of blue? That's looking pretty good. Okay guys, it's been about half an hour. I've done the blue, yellow and red, but I noticed they were sort of starting to merge into each other. Now, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing because I'm not really an artist. So yeah, so I waited half an hour to let them dry off a little bit. And now every, every time I do a color, I'll wait half an hour in between. Okay, so the next color is black and um, one of the trendy things Jackson used to do is use old dry, dried out paint brushes to flick the paint on as a trendy thing. So anyway, I've got one of those and let's give it a go. Check it out. Dry as.
Okay, that's the black. Now we'll let it dry out and we'll see what we do next. Okay guys, it's another half an hour. The black paint is dry and now we're going on to gold paint. Here we go. Well, as all the layers of paint build up, it's becoming three-dimensional. See, it's fancy, doesn't it? Three-dimensional. Okay, that's the gold. Okay guys, sanding's done. Now I'm gonna put on a coat of stain and uh, then we'll let it sit for a bit and then we'll put a coat of clear on. This is just the back, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But it is nice when people have a look behind the painting to see that you've gone to the trouble of doing the job properly. Well guys, that's the frame all stained up. I can keep going and going and going, but I, I kind of like the sort of rough and tumble, rusticy sort of a look. Once this dries, about 20 minutes, I'll put that first coat of clear on. Okay guys, next step, clear coat. This is the back of the frame, so I'll just get that on pretty quick. And then I'll turn the frame over and put it on top of these paint tins and then I'll do the top coat nice and fancy. Okay guys, 24 hours later, um, well 8 hours after I put the first coat of clear on the frame, I felt it and it was dry but it was a bit coarse. So I wet sanded it with some 300 wet and dry and I put another coat of clear on and it's come up for a treat. So now, oh, and I've also put the wire on the back of the frame to hang it. And now we get to see what it looks like put together. So here we go. Well, oh, this is pretty exciting. Here's the big reveal. Da da da. Yeah, 
that's that, eh? That's my version of a Jackson Pollock, which didn't cost 220 million Australian bucks. <laughs> okay, guys, it's 28 hours after we started with a piece of pine wood and some tins of paint, and here we are. Trev's version of a Jackson Pollock painting. And it didn't cost me 22, 220 million bucks. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you on the next one.